Alright, welcome back. This is Grim's Garage, and we're going to cover a few five pack matchboxes. Now, these are all current ones you can find out on the street today, uh, as I've gotten them all within this week. They've all hit the street very recently. Uh, this is the only carded one I have for today's review and opening. The Matchbox Cycle Trailer. I have both of the red versions. This is a white Sheriff Impound version with the chopper on it. So I'm going to need to obtain the one with the more Harley style version on it. through but that is that uh, I like that Arctic Sparkle white finish oh, they did tempo the back it says exempt sheriff on the license plate if you can't make that out I'm not sure if that's going to focus on that Awesome addition. Love my haulers and accessories for other vehicles. Now we're gonna get to we're gonna start from right to left. We'll end up with a little matchbox collector series over there. Now I don't have all the current ones. There are one or two that were in the store that I chose not to get. That's because I do not buy anything I do not want to open for myself. Now, there are exceptions. If I go out and I go to one or two stores, I'm on a hunt mission, I don't see anything I want, I will buy one or two things I think are popular to throw on the trade table to obtain the things that someone else did, did grab that I wanted. That way we can trade... Well, we're starting off with this one because this is my least interested one. The model is most interested in, and this one is the Dodge D200 truck. This is what caught my eye right here. I believe I only have one other one in my collection at the time, at the moment. So this makes two. Lastly, I recently missed out on a, like a C-Mac edition. I could have. Could have shot the gun on, on my local Facebook page. It was offered up for sale by my local Facebook page's founder for a local uh, show as a pre sale. But I've done too many pre sales. I gotta add them up and take inventory. I got some cool stuff set aside for me already, so gotta slow that down. And the secondary model that I will choose to keep on this is this, uh, I think it's a 75? Yeah, 75 Caprice. I'm a Chevy guy, I love my Caprices. I have owned a Caprice. I had an 89 Classic Braum with a rag top. Um, yeah, this guy's having trouble focusing today. Let's try something. Sorry, making this sick. There we go. We lost some acreage in the background, but now everything's right. Seventy-five Chevy Caprice. Mm, I love Caprice, is it? But this is a bit old for me. It's a little bit round than I usually like. But, um, we'll figure it out. You know what? There we go. Focusing this light over here helps. So I'll be hanging on to this guy. Yeah, 
And then on the last three, these guys just do not care for. Ooh! Oh no. Where to fall? Oh good. It did fall on the foam board, so hopefully it should be alright. Let's see. Anyway, I was gonna say. These last three models I don't personally care for, so they will go into a plastic bag of the fresh pull and end up on the trade table. Mini Cooper here. Clean Jane White with a black top. T-top, Corvette, gold finish, I personally don't really do not care for Corvettes, although I am a huge Chevy fan, it's weird the box, you know, well, this is a Chevy Corvette, the box, look at this, I think because they already labeled uh, the Chevy Caprice, they didn't want to double on the logos, they labeled the Corvette is a GM. Although it's still accurate, it still should have been a Chevy logo there, I believe. Personally. But I get what they were doing. Just trying to spread out the logos and the love. Okay. Next one. Last one for this package. I forget the name of this. No, it doesn't say. It just says 35 Ford Pickup. I could have swear this had a special name to it. No, it just says 35 Ford. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. There's something similar to the Bone Shaker, I believe. A customized version of this. I believe that's what I'm thinking of. This is the standard version, apparently. And I cannot make out what that says at all. In person or on camera. So I apologize. But, even though I don't care for gold much, that does look sharp on that sparkly forest green. <clears throat> Alright, up next. We have the Autobahn Express 3. We got here Porsche, BMW M5 Police, Volkswagen GTI, Opel Speedster, and the Mercedes Unimog. This is what caught my eye. This is what I'll be happy to have. And just because I've got to open it anyway, I wouldn't seek it out. I'll keep the Golf. But the other three will end up in the trade pile. These packages are very difficult. You know, there's multiple ways of doing these. The side of the top. From the top, apparently. All right, so let's go from least to favorite on here. So, let's go here. Porsche Panamera not familiar with it, so I'm not a Porsche fan, so if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Uh, flat black, er, I'm sorry, flat white primer finish. It is a, does feel like straight up primer. I apologize for any nastiness on my hands, try my best to clean them, but 
they are used appropriately for work in side projects, so you'll just have to deal with that. Alright, this one I decided to go down to the Opal. What year was this? 2002? Does no, Okay, I don't understand that date on there. Anyway, Opal Speedster. I'm not too familiar with Opal whatsoever. I have no clue really what or who they are. But for those who do, there you go. It is kind of sharp. It's still nothing I would buy, but I could see the appeal. Is that the exhaust? That's quite unique. Hmm. All right, next vehicle. Got a BMW M5 Police. Polizia. WM5 Police. Thailand model. Blue on silver. Not a bad colorization. I am curious as to the origins of this vehicle. If this looks indigenous to your area, please. Let me know what you think. If this is local to you. The first one I'll probably keep. BMW. Just because I had to open the package anyway. So here it is. And I like my hatchbacks. It's way too new. But, um... Just because it's here, might as well keep it. And the gem of the package for me, at least, my Unimog. Now this is the third version of a Unimog that I have from Mattel. The other two are from Hot Wheels. Although, yeah, there are two different versions of the Unimog from Hot Wheels. One of the mainline series, which is similar to this one, but has a, a a bigger bigger hopper on the back of it, and one that's twice the size and it has a very big box cab in the premium line. So this is the third one. I like this one with a low flat bed. Pardon, low flat bed. Reminds me of my uh, little foreign trucks that I love. The Sambars and the Suzus. I don't have any Isuzu trucks of any models. There's one parked out in front of a building down the road from my work. And I stare at it every time I drive by. I'd love to have a little model of it. And Jurassic World. Legacy Collection. I think uh, I've opened at least one other five pack from Jurassic World. I believe just one. Maybe two. I'm pretty sure just one. It had a little raptor in it. It might have been blue. But I was disappointed because I had at least two or three models I had purchased already on separate cards. And the same goes again for this one. I already had this one and this one. So I'll have to do a thorough investigation after the video and I can get some of the rest of my collection to see if they are the same or not or if there is any kind of variation to them. Otherwise, I'll be opening this to add this and this to the collection. And I guess that. You know, they throw in the dinosaurs. There's no die cast in there, but... And you feel cheated at first, because 
It's supposed to be five diecast cars. But I guess the vehicles are a little more deluxe. So having one of them being an entirely plastic figure, I guess that's acceptable. No, I'm not going to touch that. I'll start with the obvious for you guys. But it's one I've seen a few times. I believe this is a Ford. 93 Explorer. Jurassic Park. Classic Jeep. I believe there is a crushed version of this. I really gotta find that. That would be sick. I'd like to add that to my collection. And the other one I'm pretty sure I have in my collection. In fact, two of them already. I already have a duplicate because I bought it individually and it was in the last multi pack. That's how they get you. They release ones in individual forms. And then the later half, they throw them in multi-packs with other ones you already bought. But you can't wait for that. Like waiting for the special edition of a video game. You know you can buy that later for 20 bucks if you wait 6 months. You don't have to pay $80 for that new game. And then multiple more money for the... DLC. If you just wait six months, that whole game will have a collector's edition for 20 bucks with all that DLC in it. Unfortunately, you can't do that in this collector world. They don't do that. It's absolutely backwards. You get it now, or you might miss out altogether, or have to pay two, three, four, five times more for it. So you don't know. So you just grab stuff and panic. I didn't know this was going to come out in a multi-pack later. So now I got three. Alright. Let's take a look at the dinosaur. Triceratops. There's a little hole in its foot. Octagonal. Jurassic World logo there. But entirely flexible, plasticky, rubbery stuff. Like a like a gumball machine dinosaur. But it'll go in a bag with the rest of the cars. And this one, I have no idea what the top of it even looks like because it was entirely covered in the package. Okay. This is entirely new to me. Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. ML320. Okay. Looks like the uh, plastic glass is supposed to look like it has bars on it under the glass top. I'm not a super fan of the movies. Uh, they're cool enough for me to see once, but I'm not a dinosaur freak, so uh, honestly, I honestly do not recall this vehicle at all. But it's obviously been mo modified to be very similar to the uh, the Ford Expedition or whatever it is. More touristy for the park. And the last one which piqued my interest the most. Don't even know what to call it. Some type of sea sea diving machine. What does it say here? It just says submarine. Alright, Jurassic World submarine. Uh, individually and in another five pack I do have the little uh, ball car thing that the kids get lost in in the first Jurassic World film but this is this is pretty cool to add to it 
Strange there's no uh, wheels. Usually, Matchbox or Hot Wheels would put tiny little disc wheels on things like this so it could still roll. There is none. That's alright though. last five pack and I saved this one for last because it has three that I'm excited to have City Adventure 3 and if you get to know me obviously you know what the first thing I want to touch in here is going to be the Chevy wagon with the yellow boat on it in fact I saw this about two weeks ago in one of uh, the Hotline of Diecast videos and commented on the video he was talking about this. I don't recall what he was saying. I just stopped listening and saw that and went in the comments section and said, Chevy wagon with the yellow boat on it. That's worth it in itself. Shut up and buy it. He ended up liking the video. But, or the comment. Um, and also, we got Land Rover and a Jeep in here. I collect both these models, so... That's an awesome addition. I don't necessarily collect this, but I do happenstancely have one or two of these. So I guess I'll keep that one as well. I have a yellow or a blue one, or possibly yellow and blue one that came with the big Matchbox service station. Whatever the big Matchbox set that's out right now, like the generic one. I believe that's the same model that came with it. This is totally new to me. I don't like Ford trucks, especially newer ones. I do like some older ones. I don't care for the newer ones. But this does have a hitch. It is accessorized, and I have to open it anyway, so... I guess I'm just going to throw all these into the collection for now. Let's get this open. Alright, let's start these to best, so let's go with Ford. Sunroof, spare tire in the back, almost like a fifth wheel. Anaconda guides. Supposed to be some type of like a jungle guide vehicle perhaps. If there's a hitch there. In fact. This is different, I don't know, well, maybe. I think the other one had the boogie boards, in the, or belly boards, whatever those are called in the back. I just don't remember having glass on the top. What is this called? Malibu Marauder, 2015. Brown base. This is Jungle Safari X, Unit 5. Again, it does say Team Anaconda, if you can see closely there on the top. A fun little vehicle. Uh, let's go with the Land Rover. Same theme, Safari X, Unit 3. Jungle Safari X again. Pops out as usual, just like all the other models. Can't be entirely sure, but I think that might be a new assortment of junk on that mold. I have two or three others of these. I'll have to double check that. Anyway, fun addition. Next up is the Jeep. Unit 3 again. How are they all Unit 3? All Unit 3 of Anaconda, Anaconda Guides. Huh. 
very confusing on the radio if there's ever a problem. I think that's my fourth or fifth. By the way, I meant I opened a red Jeep in one of my previous videos saying this is either new or replacing a, replacing a very chipped up car. Turns out it was entirely new, so I still have to replace the chipped up one I thought it might have been. But here's my favorite on that one. Well, I do think the grayed out windows is a little unusual. Of course I'm going to have the Chevy van. Uh, Chevy wagon. Yeah, it's just labeled 59 Chevy wagon. I've got a couple from Matchbox with the accessories on the top. I may, I have at least one with the boat already, but it's either brown or black. It's, and it's very close to the color of the car already, so although it's very obvious because it's a big boat, it doesn't stick out as much as this bright yellow banana does which is why I saw it very strikingly in Hotline's video but I'm very happy to find this and last but not least we have a collect Matchbox Collector series to open here the Drag Beetle now the only reason why I knew this existed and the NASA chariot, which is what I wanted even more over the Beetle, was someone in my local club posted on the Facebook page, hey, these are available right now on the local Target. I was at work at the time. I didn't see it until two hours past the initial post. When he posted it, the, po the pegs were full. There was at least a dozen of these boxes on the pegs from what I could see in the photo including two of these and two of this that I wanted when I got there there was nothing left but two one of these and one of these and I don't care for any of these so I left that behind I was able to grab the beetle here I'm still very much on the hunt for this NASA chariot I'd love to have that so anyway, let's get this guy open. This has got some nice, uh, nice little moving features to it. It's nice looking tires as well, by the way. Look at the included box real quick first. It's made it look like a vintage style box. came here for as I said in one of my other videos uh, at times I almost think I collect moon eyes so there's some cars I almost kept in my collection just because they had the moon eyes theme on it but I don't I just by happenstance collect a model a lot of models that have the moon eyes theme on it like this beetle dragster She opens all the way up. Okay. I think it would have stopped at some point, but it don't. Got a driver's seat in the back so that the engine could be in the front seat. Which explains the air intake sticking out right out in the front window. Wow. There's even a roll, roll bar in there. Nice. Nice little addition. Favorite part, I think, is obviously going to be the tires. I like these tires. I don't think I have anything with either of these tires from Mattel yet. They need to use these tires more. Some of their classic cars.
Anyway, thank you for joining me, folks. And I hope you join me again. The next video will be also some recent retail pickups, but more Hot Wheel focused. And until that time comes, rest easy, sleep well, and cherish your loved ones. Good night, folks.